About half an hour ago, I hit a fishing vessel, a huge fish trawler. I was sleeping and uh, something was... I woke up and uh, I was here in the cockpit looking up a huge wall with a fish trawler and uh, my starboard side sails were uh, in, in his side. My Janneke was uh, stuck on his, um, on his cranes and sinks on the side and I hear a uh, sail ripping and uh, I was bouncing a few times with the outrigger uh, into the fishing vessel and then luckily I could slip past and, and, and go. But that was a real shock moment. And then um, I investigated all the uh, first most important things, so there was no water coming in. Um, the foil is damaged, um, but not the foil case. Uh, the bow sprit is broken off. Uh, the bow pulpit is uh, is ripped, but still in, in the is still hanging on. And. Um, and so I had also the flapping broken sail in the air, so first I dressed up. Um, I took a deep breath, uh, dressed up, uh, put my uh, uh, harness on, and clipped on. Luckily I was uh, fully switched on and calm. Then I went on the foredeck and uh, made a plan how to get the sail back on board. First I thought cutting everything, but then I thought maybe I can use the halyard and other things uh, later on. Uh, I dropped the wind windward rudder to have the, m the much maximum safety in steering. Yeah, and so that was quite a job, getting the sail back in, in the bow. It's probably an hour ago by now, and um, climbing on the outrigger, inspect, so the, the shroud, the upper shroud on starboard is broken off, is ripped off uh, the terminal. Uh, but the outrigger is still in place, and I can rig a safety, uh, a jury, shroud that the mast has two shrouds so the lower shroud is still there i'm on port tech so the rig is looking good safe for now as far as i can uh, can judge um, yeah so now i'm corresponding with the short team to come up with the best plan <coughs> i will probably reef my mainsail which is still up full main um, just to be safer and I have the half broken, not, yeah, the, the bent foil in the water breaking quite a bit. So I'm really gutted and I'm sorry for everyone who supports that at us that this happened. It's certainly uh, the worst nightmare that happened to me so far. And um, on the positive side, we're still in the race. We still have a mast. Uh, we have. 85 miles to the finish, so I think we can make it. Um, we will lose a lot of places, but it's almost secondary now. Um, and what um, really intrigues me is why did it happen? I had all my alarms on and I had many ships this afternoon where the radar alarm would perfectly alert me, the AIS alarm would perfectly alert me. Uh, Oscar was on as well. Uh, I had everything on and I have on purpose checked on every ship if the alarm works well and so observing on the radar how the echo is and, and, and that was all working perfectly with all the past ships I crossed and when I came up here and after the incident there was no alarm at all so normally I have to acknowledge an alarm if the radar alarm comes up but uh, how can the radar not pick up that ship? I have no idea. Sometimes the fishing people don't switch on their AIS. Yeah, okay. Take another deep breath and try to solve this problem with the shroud and look forward to the finish. It's, uh, it's quite heartbreaking, but we will make it. <laughs>